Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're back here. Game two is coming. I mean, I'm sorry, the tiebreaker is coming. Everyone's getting back into the box. Okay, Dino, let's go. Watching, we're here, Pablo. We're up, we're up, we're let's on. Go. Don't worry. You get excited now that we're back. Yeah. Look, you actually have a smile on your face. For the stressful, but excited. <laughs> I know, it's very stressful. So in the tiebreaker here, we're gonna talk at the end of this game, we'll talk about Vegas. Um, the IRT will be broadcasting Three Wall Vegas along with LPRT is gonna be broadcasting USA Racquetball. All the racquetball forces are gonna be there. We're gonna have a lot of three wall action and one wall action. Might even show some handball too, so we'll see. But IRT will be broadcasting in Vegas. Skipped it in right there, quick two points. De La Rosa, so Pablo, you saw game two. Uh, you know, you, you weren't really paying attention because yeah, you were, you were working on the machine, but um, what do you think? What do you think here in this tiebreaker, even uh, though it's 2-0? <laughs> Two-zero for De La Rosa. <laughs> you know, it's, I, I don't know. I, I don't feel like uh, I, can, I can predict because this is like a, De La Rosa started very strong in the first game, and when it was 9-2, Landa wake up and start very much better and won the game. Yeah. And in the second, the side to the opposite, Landa start winning, and then De La Rosa take the control and close the game. Exactly. So, Let's just play at 11 10. <laughs> I'd love to see an 11 10 tiebreaker, to be honest. Um, I, I mean, who, who doesn't want to see that? I'm going to take a, a quick peek at our good little shot there by De La Rosa. He controls so well the, the, the change of the speed of the ball. Usually players hit the ball hard in every situation in the front. Danny touched it so well and low with a lot of control. We're going to see who wins the, uh, the fantasy bracket. Landa was all over that pinch. Yeah. Danny has to recognize that and change his shot. Even if he rips it cross court, and it'll be right at Landa. And you know, his shot and, work and stand, stay in the, in the corner. His shot is like a goal. Point now. First point for Landa, one, three. Yeah, we have a screen serve. So, Norm, are you saying 11-9 uh, will be the score? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yes, Lewis, we are all happy racquetball is back. back. <laughs> um, um, so, Alex, so, Pablo, th th this, is a, this is a question in the chat box. This is the third different way that people have seen De La Rosa's name spelled. So, let's, let's talk about that. You asked De La Rosa the correct spelling. And yeah. he said it is three separate words. Yes. Del La, La Rosa. Rosa. So, um, again, we went to the source. So, um, uh, I think, you know. This had to be the right th one. This, this <laughs> needs to be the way that we do it from now on. So, um, in the past, I, I guess you, we'd have to say we've been making mistakes. I thought yeah. it was Del La Rosa. Um, but, again, yeah. we got confirmation this morning from Daniel. And... Um, this is the way it is. Not a good return by Landa. It yeah. was not down the line. It yeah. was straight, to but it center, was to the center, too, yeah. too much to the center of the court. Six serving one, De La Rosa with a five point lead. Looking to close out this tiebreaker. Little hands, that's De La Rosa's bread and butter. Yeah. I, I thought Momo was going to join us, but I think he had... Um so Todd Boss is, is saying it's th the name is Daniel of the Rose. <laughs> <laughs> the translation. <laughs> Uh. 
want to thank everyone for being uh, patient with us. Again, you know, this is a little bit different than ESPN. We don't have a, an internet truck outside that we run yeah. cables to. Um, so we, we were resetting routers, and we have a, a wire that is... It's yeah, through the ceiling actually, coming actually down. Actually, it was an internet problem in the building. Yeah, it's yeah. an intermittent, intermittent signal, so... And it wasn't enough to broadcast. But yeah. it was enough for some of the, you know, the tournament desk. That looked like a short serve. Oh, my. So there is line judges here, Pablo. I don't know if the players actually know there's line judges. Might be, <laughs> might be good for them to know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they know. <laughs> What a serve by Landa. Landa's going to have to shoot lower. De La Rosa nice can't one. get a racket on a great pass, pass right there. Yeah. That wasn't even low. That was nice. I assumed Landa was going to shoot more bottom board and come up, you know, and skip because. Yeah, they know. They know. They okay, they do. Well, that was the first one we had. We had the, we had the serve. Are we here. So that was a point for Landa. And that, one was and that was a side out. That was a warning. Landa takes a timeout. We'll play a couple. We'll pay for the broadcast with a couple of our commercials. We'll be back for the remainder of the tiebreaker right here on IRT Live. Gentlemen, we're back. That was not a timeout. It was a broken racket. De La Rosa gets another point. Not a good racket for Lando at the chains there. That yeah. one came up, did the same thing the other ones were doing, skipping. Yeah, he's not really precise with the uh, backhand in the front because both sides were the same. Short serve. Daniel De La Rosa trying to get fancy with his serve, try to slip one in there. Oh, big pick up there, set up. Oh. oh my. Down the line. Landa was right on it, but misses it. <laughs> Nor Norm, you're right. You know, yeah. that does, it, it, it does happen more often than not. Beautiful down the line. De La Rosa with a commanding lead has his first opportunity for the match. match point. De La Rosa 10, Landa 2. Serve coming up for De La Rosa. Takes a deep breath. Drive serve coming to the forehand. Landa's all over it. Nice shot right there. I actually didn't think Landa was going to grab that ball, Pablo. Yeah. So one nice quick. Work for Alex Landa. Landa doesn't feel comfortable with his backhand in the that one. Well, you yeah. don't. <laughs> that was a good backhand. He, he proved I'm, I'm wrong, but I had the feeling he didn't feel comfortable in that position with his backhand. Here's De La Rosa. Cross court. Landa's there. Goes center court. Oh! Wow! With a two-hand tennis, top yeah. spin, reverse pinch. Winner. Very good, huh? He's so strong in the front with those close touches. Is it his pickleball game? I don't think so. <laughs> no, he always do that. Oh, skip. Look at them looking at each other. Landis stayed in the back. <laughs> De La Rosa, all he had to do was hit the front wall. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever shot. What, Any, what, yeah. Anyone. Anyway. Landa was Landa was given up. That yeah. was for the match. That was, Landa was second match point. Take hands. This is tough. Good grab by De La Rosa. Set up off the back wall for Landa. Good grab by De La Rosa. Oh. 
And he misses another easy one. So Landa gets a point right there. Yep. Four serving 10. We might have an 11-10 breaker. If De La Rosa doesn't wise up and with that, oh. Beautiful shot down the line. Third chance for De La Rosa to win the match coming up right here. I think he should go back to that lob serve to the forehand against the wallpaper, you know. Uh, if he gets the right bounce, it's gonna be a swat by um, Landa, but nope, De La Rosa is gonna do the walking De La Rosa drive serve. But it's a short. Might have been, a, did, did what Rocky does, automatic short on purpose. Yeah. And here it comes. Here's the serve I, I think he should do. Oh, and Landa has the answer. Yeah, so this is what I was thinking. Three, three times De La Rosa served for the match. Down the line. Oh. Whipped it. Perfect shot. So, so you know, it, it, he took his time. He looked at where his opponent was, but he had all the time. Landa's that, shot gave him that. So this is the fourth time for the match. Let's see if De La Rosa can send it home. Z serve. This might be tough. No, Landa's there. There's the splat winner for Daniel. De La Rosa. De La Rosa takes the tier four here in Lilburn, Georgia. Jason Chan is getting ready to present the medals and most importantly, the envelope. So we'll take a short break and we'll be back with today's winner, Daniel De La Rosa, right here on IRT Live. I'm Dawn with MyPillow. I just want to welcome everyone to the IRT. MyPillow has become a sponsor this past year. We started with MyPillows probably 14 years ago, and we have this 10-year warranty on a pillow, which is amazing. So you have to come up with other products, which we have here. Also, Mike Lindell, if you don't know about MyPillow and Mike Lindell, he has a great story. Mike was a crack and cocaine addict back in the day. He turned his life around, and he now has a book called What Are the Odds from Crack Addict to CEO? And it's quite a story. If you go out to MyPillow.com and purchase Mike's book, I'm gonna make sure that all of your order ships for free. So go to MyPillow.com, purchase one of Mike's books, and everything that you buy out there is going to ship for free. I think one of the biggest things about Gearbox is just the quality and the re reliability of their product. I know that no matter what I do, whatever product I choose, whatever racket I choose, I'm gonna like it, no matter what. It's something that's very comforting as a player um, to have a very consistent product in your hand every single practice session, match, after match. It's just really nice to have. My name is Bobby Horn. Don't make a mistake. Get yourself an M40 right now. My name is Kane, and this is Ali, and we're owners of Crowning Moment. When it came time for Kane and I to really take our business to the next level, we knew that we were ready to do that, and we didn't have any issues getting everything started within a few days uh, with Savant and the team over there. We had a lot of questions, of course, um, when it came to starting a new business, and without hesitation, they were right on the ball with us at every second. Finding Savant was very easy, obviously, because I have a personal relationship with Donald. And obviously being an athlete, um, I don't really have time to find all the paperwork and do everything. They got that to me very easily and the process was very, very simple. Having Savant Consulting behind me allows me to focus on what's important and that's just being an athlete. Starting a business together, there's a lot of other challenges involved in something like that and the team over there has been nothing but supportive to us. I would highly recommend Savant Consulting to all my racquetball peers if they want to get to the next level.
RYDF help us a lot with uh, well, almost every tournament with the hotel that it's one of the expenses. Without them, I don't think I could go to every tournament to play. Well, I love racquetball and I want to be the best. I want to be one of the youngest players to ever win a title or the US Open. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm here with uh, club owner and tournament director, Jason Chan. Today's winner, Daniel De La Rosa. Daniel, congratulations. Jason has something for you. Daniel, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We love to have you here. Hope you keep coming back for more. And Atlanta love you guys. Thank you. Thank IOT. you so much. And this is your champion. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. Most important of all, <laughs> something take home. Thank Jason, the IRT wants to thank you for supporting the, uh, the tour as always. Thank you so much. We love it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, thank so you. today's winner, Daniel De La Rosa. Daniel, uh, Landa put up a fight. You came out game one. Um, you came out with a really big lead. But then, you know, you opened the door and let Landa come back in. And he took game one, 15-14. After game one, what was your thought process? Just uh, I was going to stay calm, you know, just because I know it's a new game, and I know I've been missing some shots. I had the opportunity to close down the, the door in the first game, and then he pulled it back. So, yeah, I just make sure I just stay calm and then refocus, and then that's it gives me all this they win. So let's remind the, uh, the fans, this was a Tier 4, but, I mean, you, you guys are heavyweights. Um, what's the difference between coming to a Tier 1 or having a Tier 4 for you? Yeah, one thing that I really love that I can interact more with people like, I mean, you see yesterday we played all the time, and especially the doubles that I play with Dono, one of my sponsors. And then uh, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. And then, of course, right here in Atlanta, everybody is supporting you. And then it's great. It's great to, to be back in the racquetball court. And actually, I was talking to Orlando before a match. I was like, yeah, we can. It's just we don't miss it, you know. <laughs> it's like we're already tired. It's like, oh, my God, we are, we are the shape. Like we can see that we can come back, and then we have more, more of these events that will be better than they get ready for it now. Well, to be honest, I was concerned about the level of play, you know, not being able to play, you know, and also the level of the broadcast and the whole entire event. So it was really good to see the professionalism from you and Alex, you know, not only, you know, staying in shape, you don't have the COVID-19 weight <laughs> like, I, like we do, you know, but your play, your play spoke for itself. Um, you actually had a harder road to the, uh, to the finals than Alex, um, and I thought that worked in your favor. Yeah. Um, do you agree or disagree? Yeah, like it, like uh, we told you in the beginning of the tournament at the event, we're going to look maybe a little bit rusty because we haven't played at all, and especially at this level, like uh, a different speed, different everything. But uh, it's been great. I mean, like I say, yes, uh, we, before I come back here, Daryl uh, was telling me, he is such a really smart guy. I really, I'm, I'm the pleasure to work with. That he's working with me and then Karen the same way. But yeah, he's been. A, listen, you don't, you don't. I don't expect the best. I mean, just do what you had to do. I mean, we haven't get ready for it, and then uh, just have fun, go and enjoy it, and then that's what happened. I need to enjoy it more often, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, great event here. Again, the IRT wants to thank Jason Chan, the entire staff here at the Recreation ATL for their support of the tour. I have to personally thank Pablo for his help this entire weekend. Um, it was a great event here. Uh, congratulations again, Daniel. Uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, the IRT will be at Three Wall Vegas in October. Check the schedule. Uh, we'll post something soon. But thank you guys so much for tuning in this weekend. It was a privilege and an honor to bring professional racquetball back so that all you fans can watch. And we need to thank especially Zurich Construction, Savant Consulting, 
uh, Pizzo Wave. They're the ones that sponsored not only the tournament, but the broadcast so that you guys can watch at home. So we personally thank them. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you in Vegas, right here on IRT Live. The presentation supports uh, a lot of players. Uh, they help with uh, expenses and uh, room and all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of help for, for all the players. It uh, motivates all the players to, to, to play more tournaments, to train harder, to keep our level high. It makes me feel special because they are uh, really nice people. They, they treat you nice. They make you feel like, like you're, you're important. I think one of the biggest things about Gearbox is just the quality and the re reliability of their product. I know that no matter what I do, whatever product I choose, whatever racket I choose, I'm going to like it no matter what. It's something that's very comforting as a player um, to have a very consistent product in your hand every single practice session, match, after match. It's just really nice to have. My name is Bobby Horn. Don't make a mistake. Get yourself an M40 right now.